I arrived in Latvia, uh, it was mid-June, and I've actually had the opportunity to travel uh, all over the country, um, from east all the way to west, Daugav Pils to Liepaja. Yeah, uh, so I got here in June, and uh, I thought Latvia looked a lot like home. The trees, the environment, uh, reminded me a lot of back home in Canada. Uh, came in June, and absolutely gorgeous. Um, uh, very family-friendly environment, and right off the hop, it was uh, pleasant to see everyone out and about as you know, as families doing things together. For me, a lot of Canadians, Latvia looks exactly like one of our Canadian provinces in the east called New Brunswick. Almost the same size, trees, rivers, so it felt very, very familiar uh, for a lot of Canadians. I I, uh, I brought. Uh, books and photos of my family uh, and my laptop, of course. <laughs> I brought lots of uh, more fancier formal clothing because I figured I'd be experiencing the city of Latvia a bit more. I'm a musician. Uh, as, a, as a background thing, I brought my clarinet um, and sometimes I've been playing with that and a couple of video games. If you put 1,000 people on a base, by the end of the month there will be a martial arts club, there will be a woodworking club, there will be a music club. Uh, there will, you know, they, we have all kinds of soldiers that have great talents. And so, me personally, I like to play guitar. But we have a lot of soldiers who do martial arts, uh, play in a ball hockey league. There is something for everybody uh, if they want. Some people just like to go to the room though and read a book, which is fine. Uh, I love going to the uh, Dynamo Riga games. That's oh, probably, geez. yeah, probably one of my favorite ones. Uh, or getting out into a, a Daje or a Riga and just kind of looking around and seeing the sights. Well, we now have the International House, which is pretty nice, which is uh, where we are here. So pool, board games, movies. Um, I bought a guitar, so I've been attempting to learn guitar slowly. <laughs> uh, lots of sports games. I don't know if uh, like NHL, the hockey games and whatnot, those are pretty popular. I spend a lot of my free time uh, trying to socialize with the other nations. Um, there's such a diverse characteristics of people that it's, it's, it's enjoying uh, learning their different cultures, their uh, different songs in particular, um, celebrating birthdays um, with, uh, with the other nations as well too. We have such a wide selection of such good food, it's hard to kind of pinpoint the one specific thing. I do love the, uh, the Latvian salads, uh, and then we also have the Soldiers Club next door, so when you want to kind of change it up and have something a bit different, you can grab a chicken cutlet and, and some roast potatoes, so i probably have to say that. I like a lot of the soups, some more traditional soups, uh, borscht, I believe. <laughs> um, Lots of dill and I don't know, that, that type of thing is pretty nice. Probably the salad selection. Um, the amount of vegetables we've been getting has been phenomenal. The kitchen staff has been so supportive uh, with trying to make it a diverse uh, diet every single day. I'd say the salad selection. Well, I don't want to put an advertisement out for anyone, but I did go to Carlston's on uh, last weekend, which was had a great had a great steak there. And I know a lot of soldiers have been all, all over downtown Riga, and they really like they really like getting out and, and seeing you know the restaurants and the people and just getting to experience life in Latvia outside of the base. <laughs>